Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the uh, latest project. Um, I'm uh, putting new fenders on this truck. This is like my runaround truck. This is a, I go to college and uh, use it like a car pretty much. But um, trying to get as rid of as much rust as possible because I want to get it painted and get the body worked on. So I'm probably just going to have the body shop do the, the cab corners because they're bad. And uh, this bed is pretty shitty right there, right there. And I want to get the you know the frame painted up and all that because the whole frame is solid rust, but it's still solid. It just uh, needs to be painted. Just ordered these uh, caps on eBay too, 65 bucks for four, so it looks kind of nice. But um, yeah, I'm doing the fenders on this. See how I mean it makes a big difference. I figured instead of trying to save the old fenders, it's really not worth it because this is what the old fenders were kind of looking like. It's, I mean, this is so rusted, it's actually bent out. I mean, I don't even know, you know. They could probably save them, but it'd be so much work, it's not even worth it. And there's a big dent right here. So I got another fender coming in the mail. Because I couldn't find a set on eBay to save my life, so I had to buy them individually. So the other one's coming. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you what it entails in case you want to do something similar. Um, it's... Four different kinds of bolts if you need to get any from Home Depot. This is a machine screw. It's a number eight. This is a quarter inch uh, bolt. Um, this one's fine thread and this one's quarter inch coarse in case you need to get any replacements. Because some of my shit broke off or it was just too rusty so I just bought some new stuff. And this is a three eighths. I think this was coarse. But, uh, yeah, just in case you need to, you know, get replacement stuff. Um, yeah, you can actually get the connectors, too, at Home Depot that, that like, uh, go into your fender or whatever that you screw into. So all that stuff's right at Home Depot, too, so it's not the end of the world if anything breaks or anything. Um, but, yeah, on this, uh, my fender actually didn't have, this is off the old fender. This is uh, my mount for my uh, windshield wiper fluid. But I uh, didn't have a, a hole for that, so I had to drill a hole and install it. Um, there's a hole missing for my ground for something. I think it's, I don't know what it's for. It's off of one of these wires, but there's a ground coming off. But I'm going to have to put a uh, drill a hole for that. Uh, there's just kind of a couple things missing. But, yeah, this is the uh, thing I was talking about. It clips into your fender that you screw into. You can get new ones of that at uh, Home Depot if you break any or whatever. But, let's see, there's two bolts right here, on, uh, right, you see, like, close to the windshield. Um, there's two right here. There's one at the bottom. Um, there's one actually in this door jam right here. You have to open the door, and you can stick an extension through. See, the extension's still there. And that's the bolt right there. That one's a pain in the ass. Then you'll have one big bolt up under here. Then you'll have a bunch of uh, little tiny, see this one? Bunch of those that screw, screw your inner fender well to your uh, fender. So I just kind of put like one of everything in just to kind of hold it in place while I'm screwing everything in. But yeah, it's more of a job than I was thinking. I thought it was gonna be real quick, but not quite. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you know, because uh, I know if you don't know where all these screws are, it could be kind of a pain in the ass, so. All right, I'll probably uh, patch this together with the uh, the end when I got everything screwed together, so peace out. All right, guys, so here's the end result. <clears throat> it came out pretty good, but the only thing I don't like is, uh, if you look up right here, see that, it's a little off. It's really not that noticeable, but it is definitely a little off. You can see the width wise. I'm not sure if there was supposed to be uh, some sort of shim behind this or something or what. Because re everything else lines up nice. Like the body lines line up good. Um, the front lines up good. Like with that piece, that little piece in the bottom. Everything else. The hood closes. And it's nice and tight. So I'm not sure what's the deal with that corner piece. I don't know if the the um, just the fender wasn't molded exactly the same as the old one or what the hell happened. But 
that's it. That's the only uh, thing that's really not lining up. Because you can see on this side it looks good. So, but I'm not really overly concerned. It's not going to be a show truck or anything. I just wanted to have a good foundation for them to paint on. So, from 20 feet away you can't even tell. So, that's, that's that. Alright guys, uh, please, like I said, uh, try to sub and like my videos if you like it, my uh, content. So, I'd appreciate it. Alright, later.